All right, all right. It's Friday. We're doing something we've never done before. It's Facebook Live because Christy didn't want to get recorded and then have to have editing. She said, we have to just go. And when, you, when Christy tells you what to do, you listen. <laughs> if I've learned one thing since I met Christy uh, last year around Thanksgiving time, if she gives the orders, you execute on those orders. So with that, good afternoon. How are you? Good Pat? afternoon, Tom. It's amazing to be here. Three days this week I saw you. Three so full days. Let's see. What, what do we, when did I see you first? I saw you on Wednesday to do a food donation to Seeds of Service. Which was beautiful. Through the Brick, uh, town, Brick Morning Rotary and uh, Wingman Planning. We have the Shore Movement, and you were the charity of choice this month, and they yes. brought food and a check for the organization. Which was beautiful. Yesterday, um, you had hired Wingman to redo your website, and do some brochures for you, and I had Shannon and Andrew over doing videos and pictures. Fantastic job. And that was exciting to watch. I'm glad that, um, I don't know why I ended up going, but I'm glad I ended up going because it was great to see Donovan Catholic in mm -hmm. there and Brick uh, Township High School as your volunteers. Like, yeah. I don't think, and I'm, and I'm really excited for this one because I don't know that everyone knows what you do. Just recently, someone told me they, were, they had come to your service, but... They also had a couch, and they said, do you think Seeds of Service would want it? And I was like, absolutely, they would want it. Absolutely. And I think that more people in Brick need to know about what you do, and I'm, I'm glad that that's why you hired us to your website and some promotion for you because you do awesome work. I can't say Thank enough you. good things about you. Thank you. And you guys do too. <laughs> when you were there yesterday, did you see how happy the team was? It was great. It was great. They, I'm, I'm glad that they took headshots. I, also, I love... It's so important for them. I can't get know? enough of the fact that three of your your staff members had some sort of wingman apparel on. Yes. We had two guys wearing their Grit Won't Quit and podcast t-shirts and one wingman. I took a picture. I, I'll post it in the, in the comments this afternoon. Uh, but I took a picture of the one wingman guy in the middle and the two grits on his side. So It was that, good. That you got to post the photo. Oh, yeah, I, I definitely will. And you had the dogs there that... Yes. I think that the dog taking a headshot was great, too. Yeah, yeah. Emotional support therapy dogs for the students. I love it. So you do such great work. And I think the craziest thing, I was, I, last night I went home and I said to my wife, I go, Christy does awesome work. And, you know, oh, my wife's thanks. a huge fan of you, too. Yes, you know I'm a that. huge fan of your wife, too. She's Perfect. So amazing. That's a good, it's, good <laughs> when, it's good when the women get along, too. Yes. Um, so... I was said to her, I said, Christy does such awesome work. I said, I can't even believe, like I said, she got so much going on. And, and you're doing it with volunteers and with some people with some special needs. Yeah. So, yeah. like, you have, you have to be the manager of all managers. So when you talk about grit and the small business guy's grit, and listen, I'm, uh, my grit is hard and uh, all the business owners that come in, are, they, have, they, have a, they have a hustle. But your hustle is a little bit different. Yeah. But in some ways, a little bit harder. Like, so... Go into like what you've been doing this for 12 years now. Yes, 12 years now. So it was, it, it evolved like naturally, you know. Um, Sandy hit, mm -hmm. and um, you know, I was always what were you a part doing before Sandy. So I had an antique shop, Where? believe it or not, right on Manilokan Road, and I had a spot in uh, Point Pleasant. Okay. At the, um, the emporium that they have out there. Oh, oh, I know yeah, that. Yeah, is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right so, off Bay. Yes, yes, yeah. right off Bay. And then, um, you know, Hurricane Sandy hit. I've always, I learned from my grandparents um, a lot about the charitable world. My uh, grandfather and grandmother were Rotarians for many years. So I, oh, so I grew the, up. This is like right in your wheelhouse. Yeah, yeah. I grew up going to Rotary meetings. And when Sandy hit, the first couple of weeks, and I remember like, I think it was like day two, my dad, because my parents' home was um, destroyed, and so was my sister's home. And my parents came to stay with us, and my dad was sitting by the fireplace. I'll never forget this. I come downstairs, and he's sitting in front of the fireplace. We had no heat. He's, like, <laughs> dressed and ready to go. It's, like, 6 a.m., day after his house has been demolished. And he's like, oh, you're up. Can I have your keys? Because his car got – his work truck got messed up. His cars got messed up. And I was like, where are you going? He's like, we got to go to the depot. We got to get things done. I need to buy all kinds of things. So he went and, like, he had a feeling that a lot of hot water heaters were going to show up and just equipment and stuff. And he was totally right because he goes to Home Depot every day. Yeah. And um, there were generators and stuff. So he made sure each one of his kids had generators. Then uh, my parents, you know, started taking care of their house and getting it back to going. So the first, like, week or so was a lot of us just taking care of 
you know, trying to get the family in order. But I was starting to notice, like, wow, those people don't have families. Like, they're still on their porch hysterical crying. And my heart started to break. So I went down to my church, which is Visitation Parish. Um, right next door to you? Right next door to where SOS is now. And i heavily involved in uh, youth and young adult ministry there. And I was the youth and young adult minister for Visitation Parish for many years. And... Um, I talked to Father Al at the time. I said, listen, like, nobody's really doing anything. There's nothing, like, really coordinated. And, he's, and come to find out, the church was the only building that had power for, like, a six-mile radius for weeks wow, on end. I didn't know that. For weeks on end, down Manilokan and <clears throat> Drum Point Road, they had power. And it was amazing. So we just saw the need by helping families and just giving them clothing it started to evolve from there. And it's always been with us freely giving the donations that the donors give to us and giving it to people that are in need. And we started to see how much the youth and young adults love to do that. Mm -hmm. And then their brilliantness with kids, because they're always amazing, was um, they started to come up with ideas. They saw it themselves. And when they were seeing the unmet need and they were like, oh, well, that's so sad that that person needs money to, um, you know, to lift their home. And how are we going to get all that money? We don't have any money. And I'm like, all right, well, let's brainstorm. And, and what do you guys think? I mean, at one point, our e-commerce platform, that was from our students. Wow. Because our partners, um, St. Vincent and Paul, who are near and dear to our hearts, um, they have a thrift shop that's run by our senior citizens, and we don't want to take away from their good works. Mm -hmm. And um, they were like, let's have a digital thrift shop. And then it went to eBay, and then, then that grew into work preparedness. So it, it really is like the heart of our mission are our youth and young adults with special needs because they think of just amazingness That's all the time. so cool. So now you – Let's fast forward and rewind and do a uh -huh. little bit of everything. So you were you you at the at the church. Mm -hmm. Now, how did you get into the building next door? Because there's a small world there for, a for me for, for for me there too. So like so I was so before Sandy, mm -hmm. I'm doing work for two business owners that you know very, very well. well. Yeah, Ken, Ken, Kenny Monroe and amazing um, Tom, individual and Tom Adalia. Love Tom. Kenny had uh, Shore Design and Manilokan Market and Tom. Mm -hmm. I had the flowers by Dahlia. Um, and you know, before Sandy, I'm helping both those guys with their business, with their website, with wow. their marketing. Small world. <clears throat> and then now, you know, due to some circumstances, you know, the, the man local market, you know, didn't, you know, didn't, had to, didn't, close. Had yeah. to close. And then, you know, then you're in there. So interestingly enough, um, as we were brainstorming, trying to think of ways <laughs> that we can get more funding in, because funding was needed. It was so much needed then. Um, we wrote a grant to the Robin Hood Foundation. They held that huge concert mm -hmm. um, when Sandy hit, and mm -hmm. it was amazing because it helped so many charities help individuals. <laughs> and uh, they, we received a grant. We went and asked them for money. We're like, our community needs help, and they awarded us a grant. So we were able to, from the church, continue our efforts on. And I went to... I must have spent a month driving around looking for uh, places for yep. us to rent out. And by then, other, you know, we had the National Guard here. We had just everyone around. And I couldn't find a place. And the grantors were like, okay, did you find somewhere? We, we, you, you need to spend the money. That's what's crazy about grantors is like, spend the money. And I went outside and, you know, looked up and was saying a prayer to God. And I was like, you got to help me out here. I really need a place. And after saying that prayer from the old church on visitation mm -hmm. property, when I looked back down, there was the sign up for lease on Manilocan Market. Wow. Yes. It was beautiful. And I knew Tom was there. So I called Tom mm -hmm. and I was like, hey, da, 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 da. He got me in contact with Ken. And I think within a week we were in the building. That's fantastic. So mm -hmm. small world. Like, so when I come into the doors, every time I walk in the doors, I think about like the man of the market. And the it's setup. hard to forget. So <laughs> yesterday I was sitting while the, while the photographers and videographers were working. 
I was sitting getting a couple of things done for myself before my next meeting, and I was sitting in the area that used to be the produce section. Yes. And so, you know, shout out to Kenny, and uh, I hope that you watch this. And uh, it was it was great to uh, be in the Manalocan market again. And, um, you know, you're doing such awesome work there. But I think, like, your program, you know, Let's we'll talk about grit in a second, but your program is just so awesome because you're helping so many people that maybe wouldn't have the opportunity, yeah. but they're helping you build this e-commerce platform. You know, come, people come to me for these kind of things, and it's costly, and you guys have a volunteer system, and you're doing killer work. Yeah. And you have, like, you have, you have it set up. Like, mm -hmm. it's not just a rinky-dink operation. Like, you have... All the same stuff that I have. All to businesses take, need you know, to take like, care of. Yeah, like so it's it's awesome to see that like you guys have this going on. And I think, you know, it's just really cool that you've put this in place and you're just helping people. Helping each other help others. It's really awesome. Yeah. So I so on day one you get this grant, you're in you're in mm -hmm. the you're in the market now, you know, but that that didn't happen overnight. Like nah, no. So well, like now that you have, you're, you're like well-oiled machine at this point, like, and you keep expanding, but like, what, what, how'd you get there? Like, how did that just start to happen? And you put the systems in place and, and you have deals. Every time I talk to you, you have another deal with somebody else. You have, mm -hmm. you have food trucks coming in daily. Yes. You're picking up food from other organizations that can't use it anymore, but that is still good for you to use. You have donations coming in by the day. Like I was there when I was there on Wednesday, I saw somebody bring a crib in. I, a friend of mine wants to bring a couch over. I yeah. saw people just t you know, pick, taking stuff that they needed. So like, how does it all just happen? So the beautiful thing about it is first out, <clears throat> huge shout out to our team. You know, we, the, the volunteers, yeah, the volunteers, our team, our team leads, mm -hmm. you know, for each one of the departments, you got to meet a lot of them yesterday. Mm -hmm. They're amazing. Yeah. It's the community. That's the interesting thing. <clears throat> when our community was struggling, there were multiple different groups doing all kinds of different things. And there's no way I could physically do this all myself. Mm -hmm. You know, it takes a village. It, it does always take a village. takes a village. So, and I wanted to be cleaning up the forest. I wanted to be handing out food. I wanted to be cooking food. I wanted to be helping re repair people's homes. But... The, at the same time, all those little group efforts that were going on in our community, they didn't really have a home base. Yep. So we were all running into each other in the field, and I was like, okay, we need a home base. So even Maura, who you met yesterday, who's the, the lead for the development department, um, she was an eco-warrior 12 years ago. Mm -hmm. I, I ran into her, like, I was helping people and giving clothing, me and Lydia, and uh Maura and Sherry were in the forest cleaning up all the debris that had washed up and they needed garbage bags. And then they heard that we had garbage bags down the street. Mm -hmm. And so they came and we met each other and we we're like, oh, we love, you know, it was just, it was great. Oh, you're, and the, you're, you're the barter queen too. It's, yeah, you're, yeah, you're the, total barter the, mix, all the time. It's mix and match. I yeah. remember, you know, again, when I met you in uh, for Thanksgiving, uh -huh. you, you, you had plenty of turkeys, you told me. I but did. You, you didn't have <laughs> the sides, you didn't have yeah, corn, yeah. and you were lacking a dessert. It's like, I'll trade you turkeys <laughs> I, for, I love for the fact peas and corn. You, you're, you're, you're trying to hawk your turkeys. I didn't need turkeys, but at the same time, I'm bringing corn. And uh -huh. I think what 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 really kind of you know where where I really realized how much you care. I had just pulled up with a full car load SUV load of stuff for you, and someone was leaving visit. It was leaving see the service, and you were like, "Hold on, don't leave. I just got the brownies." Yeah. And you, you're chasing the lady into the parking lot to get brownies for Thanksgiving. But that's when I knew that you cared so much about what you do yeah and every single one of the team members at sos do the same thing yeah and that's what's beautiful and it's because like you went out and you found the corn you found the brownie mix that we needed and and you got it to us that's why i'm saying it takes a village yeah i mean there's a lot going on it's a well-oiled mm -hmm. machine because everyone has unconditional love in their heart when yep. they're at 
SOS. So it's super beautiful, and I'm blessed to be there every day to be working with the team and working with the students and the school and the community. It's just fantastic. It's pretty cool, though. Like, and I and I love it. And you know, we were introduced through Paul Barlow, who's uh, yes. one of your board members. Yes, and yes. Paul and I go back 15 years. When I first moved to New Jersey, I don't know how we never met each other. I, that's weird because that's Paul, the crazy Paul, thing. Tom and Kenny, I know very well. Yeah, I, I, Wingman has done work for. Well, the Wingman did work for Kenny and Tom for mm-hmm. years. Be, you know before Sandy and Paul we were doing work we did work for before Sandy those are like three of the original guys I met when we first moved down here Mm -hmm. we didn't know anybody and Mm -hmm. um my wife was like I said oh I'm doing this website for this guy Tom Adalia and I was like Mm -hmm. he's got something on there about big brothers big sisters my wife was like oh I want to maybe do like a charity and give back and blah 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 so I said let me call the guy he's a really nice guy and we went and met him at the Manilokan market yeah he had the bins there for big brothers big sisters so we met him and my my wife was like I want to help I want to and it was right around um, Easter because she ended up in my living room with 200 Easter baskets from that she picked up at Walgreens Walmart one of those stores (laughs) and she was helping Big Brothers, because they weren't going to have Easter baskets. Yeah. In my living room, the Thursday night before uh, Easter and making Easter baskets. So that's how I got acquainted to those guys. And then I became a big brother myself. And then, you know, as the years have gone on, you know, we've just, you know, remained friends and stayed in touch. But uh, that's how, but Paul reached out to me and said, I think Christy could use some help for the Thanksgiving drive. And we do our own Thanksgiving drive to help nonprofits yeah. like yourself. So it, it all just kind of connected. It connected and it went together. I mean, I, I Tom is my mentor. Yeah. I mean, He's I was a great guy. I was in vocational school. I was our students that are coming through SOS now, you know, that we're working with and helping with. I was, I think, 14 when I went to go have my first job with Tom. You know, you know? He's a, he was a mentor and a, a great coach for a lot of people yes. in business. A lot of people have nothing but great things mm-hmm. to say about I watched, I Tom. learned, I just And he's talented. He's so talented and and just over the years and Kathy, um yeah. it, she's just amazing and she moved to North Carolina. I know, I know. She did it. Shout out to Kathy and yes, Jim. Yes, yes. Hopefully uh we get you uh we'll, we'll we'll tag you in the comments. Yes. So we you know it was just great. He was a phenom both of them are phenomenal mentors in business. Mm-hmm. I by the time I was sixteen years old, I had opened my own business. <laughs> That's awesome. You're, you've been a hustler. Since. Yeah, yeah. It's nothing but a hustle. You know. I love it. I love that. That. What, what was your first business at 16? It was um, landscaping, uh, doing like landscaping, because that's what I originally went to vocational school for, greenhouse technology, mm-hmm. floristry, <laughs> landscaping, um, at uh, Jackson Vocational School with okay. Dennis Kucherowski. And, um, and they helped with getting the job with Tom and everything of the sort. And Shout out to the Jackson Vocational School absolutely, today. Absolutely, amen. And they're there with us on Wednesday now. So oh, folks come, so there's students. brought them back yes, all these years later. Look Brick Vocational that. School's with us. And actually, Waretown Vocational School is um, just built a new well cover for us for the place. Awesome. I mean, it's just, it's beautiful. We're going to tag all these schools in the comments. So I know. We have so many some. schools that so, are doing a beautiful so we have job. Don, so we have Donovan, Donovan Catholic, Catholic out of Tom's River. We have... Brick Vocational, Waretown Vocational, Jackson Vocational. Anybody? And Brick Memorial. And Brick Memorial, okay. Yeah, and Brick High. And Brick High. Yeah. Awesome. That is so cool. And now you're also getting ready to do a development at your – so let's – Big development. Let's go. So we were very blessed. Uh, Congressman Chris Smith, uh, we got a grant. He went to bat for us and um, got us $500,000 to build a warehouse off the back of SOS for the e-commerce platform – for our work preparedness for our that students. That is so cool. Yeah. So when is that going to go start? Hopefully this year. <laughs> is Dan uh, Governor Dan, Al working, yeah, for, yeah, working he, on it? Yes, yes, absolutely. Shout out to Barlow and Associates and Dan Governor Amen. Um, and that, that's great that he's... Uh, he, he's They're great. Paul and Dan, actually Dan likes to say this often, that he's been like kind of like our mayor because we've been through a lot over the past yeah. like 10, 12 years. And, you know, early on taking on Manaloka Market. Now that building was built 50 years ago. You know what I mean? So over the years, like different code has come into place. And, you know, there's just things where Dan's been like, okay, guys, we have to take these steps first. You know, so he's always. We had to update and modernize. Oh, we had to update and modernize big time. I mean, the main building is in great shape now. It looks Mm -hmm. beautiful, Mm -hmm. you know, um, and we're so happy and so blessed to be there. I mean, God bless our parish. I mean, for having our diocese had a lot of faith in our mission and what we were doing 
and uh, yeah. And now we have our amazing partners. We got Catholic Charities in That's the building great. with us. That's yeah. Great. So it it's very very exciting. So um, so now the e-commerce is going to be how many square feet is that? It, we're hoping for a 5,000 square foot warehouse. That's that what we're hoping awesome. for. Like one of those, um, it's a uh, pull barn is what we're hoping for. And believe it or not, that's probably going to be the cheap, like most inexpensive piece of the whole entire project. Um, that's probably, I don't know, I'm just going to throw numbers out, but somewhere between twenty and 40,000 just for like the framing and stuff because it comes in like a kit. Mm-hmm. Once the kit gets there, then it's all like you got to put all the guts in it. You know what I mean? You mm-hmm. got to build everything up. You've got electrical. You get HVAC. We've got concrete. We've got all that stuff. The good thing so, is, though, over the years, you've made so many great relationships yes. that you know a lot of people. And there's Super a lot blessed. of people that want to help you. Yes. And they want they want to be able to you know donate or discount or do things to, to your benefit to help you we get had there. the knights of columbus here today oh awesome. you know and they they brought a beautiful donation and um it was just great to have them in the building you know um we partner up heavily at christmas time mm-hmm. so there's the whole thanksgiving and sos does that and then the knights do christmas uh-huh. So we work throughout like six months also gathering um, items so that we can share back and forth. And then they go and deliver to the families at Christmas time. It's so beautiful. It's a really good relationship. That Christmas way. tested our, uh, our our working oh relationship. Oh, my gosh, it and did. It also <laughs> tested my marriage at, at, at some points during that, too. Like Your you wife know, is amazing. There, you guys there, were amazing. There were a couple days. There was a couple day, touch and go days there for a while. The good thing is time heals all. And, time does uh, heal all. <laughs> and and I think my wife likes me more than, you know, before Christmas. So all good there. So, um, yeah. She, that, when did I come to you? Like, it was like, me, two, like two, two, three two. weeks before Christmas with over 1,500 wishes, I think. And the bags. Oh, we my gosh. Not, we, 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 we collect toys. Wingman, you know, has – Wingman, through Wingman Planning for the last seven years, has been collecting toys for people, for, for organizations. We're in the process of forming our own Wingman Foundation to be a little – more oh, to be able to help beautiful. you know more charities but we were never really in the business of giving exact toys until we met you so i'm <laughs> not advocating that we continue that but for you we will help you always uh to make sure that you know you get your needs but normally people come in and just pick toys like an organization will come in grab what they need for their kids they have a list we've been never been sent a little... the list with with a bag number and bags and everything like that so, so there's a story behind that um, my mom for several years before she met my, um, stepdad, my dad mm-hmm. who raised me, um, was a single mother mm-hmm. of six kids. And, uh, I'm going to try to say this without crying, but, um, I know, I know, I know. Shout I, out to your mom. We're going to, we're going to shout her out ahead of time. Yes. So she, um, there were years during Christmas where she had to turn to the church, you know, to, um, to help, to help out. And they did. Mm -hmm. And we had Christmas and my mom always made things work. She was always, I mean, God bless her because six kids, single mom. I see that today at the charity and she kept a roof over her head. She kept us fed. You know what I mean? Um, Got us everything that we needed. And uh, so every time Christmas rolls around, it's just so close to my heart. So I, we kind of at SOS go a little bit further. Mm -hmm. And when we are talking to the families about Thanksgiving, we actually say, okay, we let the kids fill out a wish and they, and they get two wishes and we try really hard to fulfill those wishes for them. That is awesome. Yeah. So that's the complicated. So each child gets a number because we don't let any of that information out. So you got that crazy list. Oh, we all have this spreadsheet. With the specifics. With the Google Drive. Number 247, age five to seven, mm-hmm. girl, and two toys. Two yes, items. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I like, want LOL doll and uh, Play-Doh. You know, when you I know? showed that, so like, you know, again, we're, we're in the midst of our toy drive. Like, mm-hmm. We collected 10,600 toys. Like, now I show this to my guys, and they're like, Tom, are you crazy? Like, when you were asking me, I was like, I don't know if I, I are they going to be able to do this, you know? And then you were like, send it, send it. And send I was like, good. okay, fine, share. You did, and I, man, that was a lot. Sometimes, sometimes you know, as the owner of the business or the one who's in charge of collecting, yes, you always just you always say yes, you always say uh, yes. yes. And there's people at Wingman 
that make those yeses turn into the customer, you know, mm -hmm. make the customer happy. You know, you have Tony who's behind the scenes building 20 websites a day and, and her team is going crazy Aww. to make that happen. So Tony's just used to, if I, if I said it, oh, he, you know, shit, he we said it. Make he it. said <laughs> it, but hell, we got to get it done. You know, Chelsea has to, you know, gets, gets the, the list and to route all these toys. And, you know, mm -hmm. so everybody kind of just makes it happen behind the scenes. So when you sent that, that was a new level of yes for us. Because I don't think anyone expected that. But that's what we brought in the big guns. I called home and said, Cindy, you got to come yeah, in here. Yeah, Cindy came. I said, She's I said, amazing. Cindy, I need your help on this one. I said, I kind of stepped in something a little bit bigger than me. <laughs> but, you know, again, the people, they believe in me. And they'll help get it done. Ultimately, and you guys numbered everything. Oh, man. You delivered. I mean, you, I, I've never worked with somebody who took so much care and so much detail we to something that's so huge for these kids. We should shout it out really a couple is. people. Stop real quick for the yes. wing. So the wingman team in general needs to shout out because again, if my Amen. time wasn't being able to help you, then I would, you know, I would be in the day to day of making all these sites and God all this bless marketing. wingman team. Then but Kristen and Cindy and Chelsea and Mike Smith really kind of took that one on themselves. Like the four of them in the conference room, numbering, uh, organizing going to um going to five below multiple times mike smith meeting cindy in the parking lot to grab toys so she could go back in and and he could take it back to wingman for Kristen, and she can go back in and do another shop off that list so and you guys had to bag it <laughs> and I bag them and, and tag Kristen them. grabbing the, the bags at rotary bringing them back yes so that before i got back from another meeting they could still do keep moving the they were great so a shout out to all the wingman guys, but especially, you know, Kristen, Cindy, Mike, and Chelsea really kind of went above and beyond that for that couple of days of and getting you ready. After we did the, like, came and picked up and the delivery and everything like that, Cindy comes back another couple of days because she knew, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this right, I think it was a baby shark that somebody wanted. Mm -hmm. um, and she <laughs> remembered it on the list and remembered that that was one of the things that she had to go get, and she found it. And she shows up two or three days later after thousands of guests, and she's like, here's the shark. I'm like, I love you. This is amazing. <laughs> you know, it's funny also. You def you've you definitely made an impact on my guys because, again, Cindy went and did something like that. But uh, Mike Smith was, like, cleaning out one of the closets one day. He goes, what are we going to do with these old monitors? Why are they in here? And I'm like, yes. Mike, I have no idea. I go, Mike, they've been in here. Pre-COVID, they've been in here. He goes, well, can we give them to Seeds of Service? I go, Sure. I go, next time Christie's in the area or whatever, we coordinate with. He goes, I got to go drop a job in brick for uh, one of our print customers. I'm just going to stop at the at, on Manilook Road. I go. We love when Mike stop by. I said, great. I said, that's fantastic. I said, more power to you, Mike. And then since then, he has cleaned out. You, Lots you of got different also things. all the boxes. Yes. Which one day we were looking for a box and Kristen goes, remember, you gave them all away. I said. Really? <laughs> No problem. I said, I they're said, all out all over the United States now. I said, we shipped Kristen, all kinds of stuff in we'll it. We'll go buy another box. It's better <laughs> that uh, Christy has it than us. I said, so, but all, I, I just love that everybody, and I think that that's part of what I want to, as I help your business, as I help your nonprofit just continue yeah. to grow from a business perspective, from a marketing perspective, I want everybody to know all the great things you do because I think if more people saw it, they would want to be part of it. They would yeah. want to jump Thank on board. So. And again, I don't, we work with a number of nonprofits, but I've connected with yours more so than mm -hmm. most that I've been involved with. That you know, we build a lot of websites or do marketing or print stuff for people. But like you know, we we we're into like you know, seeds of service, and I, I think it's because of your dedication, mm -hmm. your hard work, your grit, your hustle, your no, stopping at nothing to help your clients keep going, keep going. Yeah. So I think that that's what like drives me to help you and get my. You know, my team to also really, you know, everybody just. We, it's the unconditional love. Yeah. You're you're an unconditional love individual, and so am I. And it's just it's it's a good thing. And <clears throat> a lot of people put conditions on when they're helping or serving, and we're trying to get that big message out that, you know, in in the charitable world, that unconditional love every day. You know, I mean, God gives us unconditional love all day long. You know, and it's just, it's, it's a beautiful thing to do. And, and on the flip side of it, you're talking about grit. I, a lot, here I am fast forward many years later from when Tom was my mentor, um, and, you know, starting to get all that strength and 
courage because I, I, I had dyslexia that, that was, and that's another near and dear thing. Why I'm so important to help the students that we work with. Mm -hmm. But, um, I ended up going back to college, you know, getting that strength, facing that, um, I started off in uh, with my degree in environmental civil engineering and then then switched to a master's in business. And I always tell everyone now, I'm like, okay, listen, if you want to go into business, you need to run a nonprofit first because mm -hmm. the for-profit end of it will seem like a walk in the park if you do the nonprofit because a nonprofit is – has a for-profit inside of it. Yes. You know what I mean? So that that's the interesting thing in the business world. If you can get do if you can get donations, you can make sales. Yes. So that's exactly what it is. Totally. So we're doing something really cool that I want to I'm going to we're going to pre-sell it. It's not even ready to go yet, but <laughs> I'm hoping idea, that everybody wants wants one. I'm going to be buying some for myself. So Christy said to us, what about, we gave some wingman t-shirts for some of the staff and some yes. of your help uh, and some of your, your volunteers. And we, we sent a bunch of wingmen. Again, every time Mike Smith goes over, I feel like I lose, you I lose, lose some inventory. You lose more merch. But <laughs> we it's love worth the merch, it. though. It's worth it. I love seeing you in the merch. I took a picture yesterday. Three guys, unsolicited, had mm -hmm. merch on. I took a picture of them together, which I will post in the comments today. Yeah. Um, but we're going to make a Seeds of Service wingman combined t-shirt for a fundraiser for the organization. And the beautiful thing at Seeds of Service, which Christy didn't get to say, but I'll, I'll, I'll cut the line for her and tell her. She's got a matching program going on right now, so every dollar she raises, she gets a one-for-one -one match on, which yes. is awesome. Yes, we have an amazing donor right now <laughs> who is matching funds with us, and um, it's just a beautiful thing. So this is going to be great, this fundraiser, because for those of you who don't know, we actually are on WhatNot. And how this started out was when Mike brought us the T-shirts, we were all like, yeah, Wingman, this is great. We love the, the – our guys on site love those shirts. So we were wearing them, and while we were live on WhatNot, uh, the – our customers on WhatNot were like, can we buy that shirt? What, what it, they, they loved it. And now it just – it was the plain dark just, blue one just that just says Wingman, says Wingman on, Man it. on it. So we promised a lot of our customers who support our charity – that we would get the wingman shirts and we would get you know SOS on there and now it's grown to something even beautiful. Now it's turned into like a big project. Yeah. Like yeah. it's gonna have the SOS logo and, and wingman, wingman around, around the it. circle, right? And then on the back, it's gonna be okay. Your I got it. So it's gonna be helping each other help others. I we got your back. We got your back. All right, all right. It takes grit. I love it. Yeah, like, so it's it, it, all of our mottos on the back of the shirt, yeah. which all blend together beautifully. So I think we should put T-shirts up for sale for $30. I, I think that's great. I think all right, that'll so be good. T-shirts up for sale for $30. You could pre-order them. We're going to start with 100 shirts that we're going to, you know, collab in and, um, you know, get made. Um, so any um, one that is interested – Put in the comments or message me or text me or whatever what size you are and we can get either, you know, we can get you set up to get the payment over to Seeds of Service through their PayPal or, you know, if you want to Venmo me and I will get, the, I will write a check to Christy, that's fine too. But we're going to do $30 for the t-shirts that is going to uh, Seeds of Service. And, but now that $30, that, that $30 donation you're making for a t-shirt is now going to turn into 60 so christy's going to get 60 dollars for every t-shirt that's sold and then we're also going to do um hoodies yes which are going to be do. awesome they're going to be great uh and those will those will be on sale for 50 dollars uh so again that 50 dollars will turn into a hundred dollars for christy and her organization to do more great uh work so again if you're interested we'd love your support we're going to be putting them uh we're going to be putting the mock-ups on our social media in the next weeks and we're going to help um sell out you know we'll start with 100 of each and i have a feeling that this is going to be one of these ongoing ones what i was thinking about the other day after we, you and i were talking about the back of the shirt mm -hmm. is we'll have versions so like 
There's other quotes that I say. There like, are. If you if you hang out wingman too. long enough, you'll know. I'll I I'll say oh, it's another day in paradise or mm-hmm. living the dream. So we'll have different versions of shirts. Mm-hmm. And again, when we maybe we have a summer shirt with with somehow we tie Belmar into it. Yes. So you know this. I think there's gonna. I think this is just the first of many shirts that we're gonna. And do we'll together. make suit. Yes, I love that. And this we can cool. make a lot more shirts because we got to get unconditional love in there because you Definitely. know that's the big message that our matching funds donor is putting out there he really wants to i mean we dubbed it at the christmas party that 2024 was going to be all about unconditional love so i mean it's they're going to be beautiful shirts they're going to be super cool we actually have some graphics yep, and colors i, I to can't make wait the, to finalize them this all week. the colors work together i know you have a meeting with on on photoshop to yes, go through with to maddie type, maddie and jillian shout yes. out to jillian and maddie on this one so to make it to tighten that front and back up so that we mm-hmm. can start the first run and again, I think the first run just becomes the second, the third, and so on. For every $5 raised, it helps feed a family of four for one week. Say that again. For every $5 raised, it helps feed a family of four for one week. There, through our beautiful partnerships throughout the community, because again, it takes a village. I mean, Trader Joe's helps us out with two pallets of food a day mm-hmm. so that the families can get fresh produce. ShopRite, the Shaker family, I mean, the meat and just stuff that they donate into the charity. We've got all five Wawa's given back and brick. We have um, Aldi's, we have Walmart. I mean, it just, it's amazing. Every store in community. that brick area, you are tied <laughs> into. I can't even imagine. They see you walk in, they're like, oh, let's go. We gotta it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. We're not here today. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, but, no, they're uh, great. You, you have teamed up with everybody. You've made... You you realize like it, you need the community you need it's yeah. a, it takes a village like but I mean that being said like you've you've done it and you've done it so well mm-hmm. and I can't even imagine like all the relationships and all the people you have to text and all the people you have to communicate with to make sure that ever that 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 runs smoothly because again the people that need the stuff and the and you're and they're there they're there in the morning I've seen them they're ready to go they're ready to shop they're ready for help they and you're. Your team is there to assist them. So, like, it's not just a one-sided thing. Like, let's just mm-hmm. fundraise. Let's do. Let's this. You're, you're, you're then taking that and turning it and, and making it so that it helps people survive. And locally. we have we have some very difficult cases right now. <clears throat> some extremely yep. difficult cases. You know, I mean, it, I was telling you yesterday that the demographic is changing. Mm-hmm. You know, um, and there's just, especially with, we have Ukrainian families that are coming in. We have uh, Latino families that are coming in. We have our our regular community that's coming in. You know, and we, we say families at SOS because we think we're all one big family. And, I mean, the website is going to be off the charts. We, I, love, I mean, the uh, stuff that w- you guys are building is just going to be so great. And I love that we're going to be able to do check-ins with an iPad, and we're going to yes. be able to use QR codes, utilize, and, and also for language too. So mm-hmm. like we could we could make the form in you know in other languages. So yes. that again, I mean, I think in you think about it well, like people don't think about oh, what about doing that? Like yeah. I think those are the kind of advancements that you are forward thinking on, so that you you cover everybody. And we want the families to be able to come in and. You know, the all the languages, you guys are going to make that QR code. They're going to be able to take the iPad, scan that, fill out their intake, and then it'll convert right back into Salesforce, and we'll be able to see it in English, which is phenomenal. You know, and, and be able to serve more efficiently to help the families where they're at, what they need. You know, and you guys are going to do the cool food bank, uh, our food <coughs> basket. Um, people will be able to book their time. Yeah, oh, that's going to be which cool. Which is great yeah. because – Sometimes, and God bless Sherry and Ruth, and our girls that run our help desk, uh, Joan and Yolanda and Laura and our, our women in the pantry, Pat and Lydia and all of them. I mean, the doors open at 1 o'clock. Yesterday, I actually, and I very rarely help out, but yesterday the doors opened and there were 39 families waiting. Wow. Coming in the door, many different languages, <laughs> mm-hmm. you know, and now families will be able to, with the new website, coordinate coordinate that. They'll be That'd able- be so good for your staff, too. Yes. Like, that's a, just another They're gonna friction. They're going to love it. That, you know, it's, fr- if, it, it, it's a friction point for both sides. Like, the 39 families coming in at once, and everybody's trying to, like, make sure that they're covered for their needs. Yes. But on the other side is your people are like 39 people at one time. Like that's a lot. So if you could, or if we could stack and organize it, and you know have efficiency, up oh, you're one fifteen. Okay, you're one thirty. It just makes that much 
that's yeah. much easier. And you know, the staff is happier. The yes. and, 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 and families, and are, the families happier. are happier. So it's yeah. a win win. I mean, God bless the <clears throat> community that we serve. I mean, out of all those families yesterday, everyone just they're walking out the door and they're like, Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, even though there's a little bit of weight, especially when you got thirty nine people running through. But you know, our team <clears throat> They got them in and out of there in an hour. That's awesome. Good for them. They're One great. hour. 39 families in Shout and out, out of the door. Yes. Shout out to the with, team. With, uh, you know, food baskets and their needs. And we had two huge emergencies come in. You know, it's amazing having Catholic Charities there to where we can just team together. You know, um, we also have social services comes. Uh, Fulfill sends in uh, Millie. We love Millie. She comes in and she helps with uh, getting medical benefits filled out. Uh, there's so many beautiful partners that are there helping. Again, takes a village. You That's know? fantastic. Good stuff. It is. It's very good I stuff. love it. So, um, all right. So we're going to wrap up today. Okay. Uh, we want to say one more time about the T-shirts. Uh, if you're interested in you know getting your early T-shirts and being in the first edition, please let us know. Uh, you can. It's thirty dollars for a T-shirt. It's uh, fifty dollars for a sweatshirt. And again, there's matching funds. So Christy ends up getting sixty and a hundred dollars for that for that uh, for that donation that's made. Also, let people know where to find you. Even though we're in the process of rebuilding the site, so the new site is not wing. The site that's up there right now is not Wingman's right now, but it's soon to be. Soon to be. So it's www.seedsofservice.help, <clears throat> and um, you can always check us out on eBay. We're also on uh, Whatnot, which is SOS Bazaar. You can also find us on YouTube under Seeds of Service, Facebook's uh, SOS Seeds of Service. Vince is going to... He's going to get me because I think I said that right. We just recently had to replace – Facebook took our Facebook page away. You guys helped us, you know, in guiding us with what we ended up having to do, but we had to start a whole new Facebook. So please so make sure you like Let's just make it like better. It. Make sure you like the page. Yes. Make sure you share the page. Anything you can do if you're in that, you know, Ocean County, uh, Southern Monmouth, Northern Ocean County area, Christie's uh, organization is helping many families there to help them, you know, in in hard times and you know make it make it better thank you again for coming on you're oh, great thank you this was amazing we love you guys thank you i appreciate it